the Russian state corporation, Rostec, says that they have already completed the stage of state tests of the new 2S43 Malva 152mm wheeled self-propelled gun. Currently, this self-propelled artillery installation is apparently ready for delivery to the troops. At the same time, Russia does not disclose the dates when serial production of this self-propelled gun should begin. But here it is worth adding that for the first time the occupiers announced the completion of state tests of this wheeled self-propelled gun two months ago. The tactical and technical characteristics of the new Russian artillery system are not marked by any outstanding indicators. It is known that the Russian, the 2S43 Malva 152mm wheeled self-propelled gun is equipped with a 152mm caliber 2A64 cannon which is used on the MSTAS tracked self-propelled gun. Loaded ammunition, E30 rounds, declared rate of fire, E up to 7 rounds per minute, firing range, 24.5 km maximum. Combat mass, 32 tons, crew, 5 people. According to Russia, there the 2S43 Malva SPG is equipped with an autonomous power unit that can provide an alternative power source at the position, and mechanization devices that simplify the feeding and loading of 152mm shells. It is also said that the digital fire control system on this gun installation seems to provide firing in the MRSI, multiple round simultaneous impact, mode, although there are doubts that the Russians have the necessary components to implement such a function. If we take into account all of the above, then the very possibility of the enemy getting another type of 152mm self-propelled guns into service, is an important signal that may indicate the possibility of manufacturing new artillery systems. However, at the same time, it inspires hope that the new Russian self-propelled gun with the maximum firing range in 24. 5 km maximum will be extremely vulnerable on the battlefield in conditions where the armed forces of Ukraine are superior to the enemy in counter-battery combat capabilities. Therefore, the more such systems the Russian occupying forces receive, the more such self-propelled guns will be destroyed in Ukraine.